Okay. This is nice. good. Yes. Hello everyone. Welcome back to to, to my channel. This is me Angel and I'm here with a special guest, Umi, also Hello. known as Umi the Aquarius. <laughs> Umi, the talented artist that I love so much. Also part of Tribe. You guys seen my full moon video. You guys will know that Umi coordinated it and she's also a part of Tribe too. And today I'm going to be doing her nails and also just talking. It's a new segment I wanted to add to my channel to highlight some other creatives and other people who are also in the same kind of community as me mm -hmm. but haven't had a chance to kind of link our audiences up. We're going to be doing a video on my channel of me doing Umi's nails. Super cute. We're going to talk about what vibe we're going to choose. And on Umi's channel, we're going to be doing Full Moon with Umi, talking about the moon, yes. what it means to us, mm -hmm. and our favorite little moon rituals. Yes. So stay tuned. We are going to start looking at some different designs that Umi might yes. want to do. And I'm going to let her see these stickers I have. You can start looking through. Mm -hmm. And there's even some little body stickers you can do. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. It's Umi. Thank you so much for being here as you wait for Angel. Um, I'm excited to be doing my nails. I usually don't really do my nails. Um, I feel like lately I've been wanting to get more into nails, more into makeup, just learning how to glam up. And Angel's a really great teacher for that because she be <laughs> glam up. Oh yeah, we did Umi's makeup kind of. Just Most a little so. highlight, little blush. Yeah, but I love it. Okay, yeah, these are the other ones I have. Ooh. They're kind of holographic, and then, like, that one's so pretty to me. Ooh. Have you ever had your nails gel before? Mm -hmm. No? Never. Really? I'm excited for you. Yeah, this is the whole, everything's new. Your nails are so healthy. Really? Yes. Thank you. But Umi has really strong, good nails. Like, I, I know you haven't had gel, because <laughs> they're really strong and good. Umi, first, let's talk about... How we met, how we came Ooh, across each other, yes. where that started. We met, I feel like I've known you for so long. We met, so I first met you online through a friend. And I remember I was in London and you were living in London at the time. Mm -hmm. And it was carnival and I was like, hey, do you want to hang out at carnival? But it was just a lot of coordinating. Yeah, car <laughs> carnival, if you guys know what carnival is in London, it's crazy. It's like... Pretty much like the giantest festival ever, and everyone's like in little feathers and stuff. Oh, there's no reception. I know, I was, trying to, I was trying to hit you up on Instagram, but I had literally zero bars. Yeah. There was nothing. So, I think from there we just started like talking here and there online, you know, responding to each other's stories. And my first memory of like meeting, meeting you was when mm -hmm. you came to my place um, when I had a release party for my movie. My short film that came And out. I have footage from that too. Oh, let's insert footage here. Watch for film. <gasps> yes, and oh it's God. an album, right? Too. Yes, an EP, and the film is out. Introspection. You can stream it online. Yes, go. I just watched it. It was so good. You guys, it touched my heart. It's so good. <laughs> go watch it. Yeah. That was so much fun. And I just remember me and you, we like locked in and just talked for a while and we were painting mm -hmm. and. Uh, I remember it was when you were kind of beginning your spiritual journey and I feel like I was refining my spirituality and whatnot and mm -hmm. so it was a great time for us to just reconnect and be like where are we, what are our goals, what kind of energy are, do we want to welcome from here yeah. out, so yeah. Yeah, I feel that too. That was like a really good way of explaining it, mm -hmm. yeah. But I feel like that's what is kind of beautiful about the internet is, and stuff is like mm -hmm. you can kind of find people that you know you relate to or mm. you can see like oh we have this many mutuals oh you know this person that mm. means we'll probably get along too yeah tribe is all people I feel like everyone knew one person and then that one person knew the other person and it was like this crazy spider web that mm -hmm. brought us together that is what it is yeah spider web for real and i feel like tribe just find like it just found me, mm -hmm. like the way that me and Jenna met is so weird and crazy, and then mm -hmm. us two, it was just like, it was just destined and stars. Oh, for sure. What about music stuff? What is it mm -hmm. like being an artist in this day and age? Mm -hmm. How do you feel with like the social media stuff, just having a lot of eyes on you? Because mm -hmm. I know that we've talked about that before, just yeah. like going from being, you know, doing your thing and just being you and then having mm -hmm. a whole bunch of people like recognize that and 
have a lot of different opinions mm -hmm. or different things like how do you deal with that type of stuff or how do you feel about it all yo that's a great question i feel like luckily with my career it's been very organic and gradual and not at every stage of growth i feel like i have time to adjust to like a new fan base a new um mm -hmm. wait hold on Okay, sorry, I didn't want to interrupt anything. No okay, I think we're done with all the shipping labels. We're going to go drop them off. Okay, great. Okay, okay. all right. Bye, Bye, Leo. Thank you. Oh, so cute. I love them. I feel like that you have, like, a system. Um, but I think one thing I've been, like, learning recently is I have to take off the pressure of, like, being everyone's role model all the time. Because um, I, I think it pushes me to always want to be perfect and know everything and to not mess up to always give people the right information da, 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 and it can put so much pressure Man. on me to not even be able to like be young and make mistakes and like figure things out you know so i've been just letting go of that pressure and allowing myself to just be me and allow people to be a part of my growth as well and not try to just put up this front that i have everything figured out and everything's all shiny and sparkly like mm -hmm. but i'm still trying to figure this shit out Facts. That's actually the same, that's really the same place I'm in in my growth mm. too. It's like, yeah, I think that sometimes we forget that people who have, I guess, like a bit of spotlight or limelight on them that, yeah, they are perfect or that they don't mess up or when they do mm. mess up, it's kind of documented for everyone to kind of see or mm -hmm. pick at and stuff. And I think that's been a part of mine is too, is just like realizing that we're all human, we're, we're all, all going to make mistakes. We're all going to do things and say things or maybe even at certain moments not be, you know, educated on something. And mm -hmm. that's really normal. Mm -hmm. And like, I just I just had to learn to kind of consider myself a friend to myself. Like, mm -hmm. what would I tell mm -hmm. Umi mm -hmm. if she did this? Oh, okay, I'd just be like, you know, don't worry about it. Yeah. You're human, you make mistakes. And that's the same energy I had to give to myself because just both of us very similar. We want to do stuff perfect. We want to hit it on the nail. Yeah. We have a lot of... Um, like creativity and things mm -hmm. within us so we have big goals and dreams mm -hmm. and if it's like not perfect we're like but nothing's perfect no, nature's not perfect Ooh, nothing yeah embracing imperfection and mm, trusting that the people who will flow into my fan base flow into my audience are people who resonate and understand yeah. me you know my growth and my journey mm -hmm. has been big but yeah social media it's so interesting because it's like i'm me here in this physical form and then there's another me <clears throat> that's like floating on the internet and mm -hmm. some people only met the internet me you know and have this image of me and my goal with my social media is to make that me and this physical me as similar as possible so you're always meeting the most authentic version that of myself i like that i feel like you're very you're very similar to the vibe that you give off mm. like I, I would not be like oh Umi's different in real life mm. and I think you're maybe more awesome in real life oh thank you it's kind of hard to change one like it's mm. hard to change the online version yeah. like me going from that show in London mm. and me being like you know this very fashion I was not even talking about anything spiritual mm. or my growth or healing or mm. any of these things and um, going from that type of you know audience and that type of stuff mm. to go to you know more about like more conscious and mm -hmm. just stuff like that i feel like it really was like a big shift mm -hmm. for me and i feel like a lot of people didn't don't understand or didn't expect it i think it's just awesome being able to do that because we're lucky that we have the the ability or the space to grow and change even you know people receive to it differently or oh i miss this i miss the old mm -hmm. or i miss the old angel but you know, we change. We're little butterflies. Know, we're little butterflies. Constantly changing. Yeah. Constant cycles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like for you to have made that transition from that I shape. the old. Ooh, wait. I've never done the shape before. You this like is it? cute. I love it. Okay. It's like a new me. I like this. I feel like this is good for you. Yeah. It makes me feel like more... That the transition that you made in like the content that you share, there's also like a whole life experience that went between those two moments mm -hmm. that like people don't really know about. Mm -hmm. But like to to the outside, it might feel like a jump, but to you, it's like been a gradual journey to this mm -hmm. place. The thing that kind of changed my direction was like like if I died today, would I be happy just posting like 
mm. making girls feel like they don't have like the same style as me so maybe they'll be feeling down or did I spend my time here trying to help people learn about healing mm. and frequencies and crystals and raising their vibration mm -hmm. I feel much better about who I am as like my real me than trying to push this perception of like materialism and stuff that doesn't really matter that much mm. so right now it's been about finding the balance because you oh, can yeah. do both you, can. you know you can be into fashion and have cute looks but also you go home and you do your shadow work in your little Yo. room, you know? <laughs> Bell. So there's a balance to it, but Bell, Bell, Bell. but I don't. I realize like I don't want to just be a little puppet. Like <laughs> why this clothes? Like yeah. I want to be. I want to. I want people to connect with me and my mm -hmm. soul. We have the power to shape culture and shape youth consciousness, and I would rather have the youth be empowered and be healed than to be wrapped up in materialism you know facts and it kind of connects to me when you said that it made me think of my music too and how mm -hmm. there's pressures from the outside to like make music that sells or mm -hmm. like just make a certain type of music or say certain things in my music you know just talk about money just talk about this, mm -hmm. this or that or wear certain clothes or make certain type of music videos that you know you'll get this many views but i'm like that's not the consciousness i want to spread and i have to trust that i can be authentically me and still be just as successful Facts. but it's like a new path we're paving so it can be scary sometimes Facts. i think that people were like that people were into this stuff mm -hmm. but the the way that things are going like people we don't have nowhere to, to go and wear the red <laughs> bottoms and the balenciagas so we're in the house so yeah. it's like it's, it's just this, like a shift, mm. I think. Age of Aquarius. Age of Aquarius. We're going inward. It's more about community Facts. consciousness. It's about healing. Yeah. I'm going to get to filing these <laughs> nails. I'll be right back. <laughs> We're back. I filed Umi's nails. She's washing her hands in my bathroom. And we're going to start. I dry my hands off. Mm hmm. Oh, and I'm going to do massage too. <gasps> Oh, I love hand massages. Perfect. Yeah, for the guitar stuff. I know yeah. you probably like. I'd be. I'm cramping up. Cramp you know me. <laughs> Beautiful. You have nice hands, Umi. Thank you. You just need a little shape up. I just needed a shape up. My hands look like completely different hands. Did you ever get one of these? Mm -mm. Oh, I made hand sanitizers back in the day. <gasps> Can you see it? But yeah, they have little rose quartz <gasps> under. That's powerful. And then it has honeysuckle. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. One day when you when you get your Grammy, mm -hmm. I will. <gasps> Can you? Do this? Yeah, <laughs> I'll do them long and like super cute. Oh, I'm excited! Like a, you gotta go all out. I gotta go all out. Uh, yeah, I want to start glamming up more generally. But I guess like you were saying, there's not really many places to glam up to right now, so maybe yeah. it's not even where my energy has to go at the moment. Literally, that's what I've been on. That's why I dyed my hair back brown, and mm -hmm. like I was just like, I need to just be on some chill. This is this energy right now I'm getting is like it's like healing, self reflecting, journaling, and creating. That's mm -hmm. like all of the the I energy see. that needs to go on. Mm -hmm. And there's just so much going on. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's just really good to go within your like your your highest self rather oh, than your oh. physical self. Yeah. Because we have all the time in the world to like tap into the physical, tap into the physical, do our hair. That's why I got rid of all my clothes. Mm -hmm. I was just ready to not. Be. I'm ready to. I'm trying to get, just, yo, just go up. I'm not, I don't want to be in the physical. I want to clear my passageway, clear my space. Let's talk about some music stuff, Umi, Ooh, because yes. I know you're the CEO of music. <laughs> I feel like that's part of like my next mm -hmm. journey that I want to kind of venture in. But yeah, so how did you like have your start and stuff like that? Ooh, good question. I feel like music has always been so intrinsic. To me, my mom plays piano, my dad plays the drums, and so I grew up around music, knowing like I think I know I'm meant to be a singer, like that is my purpose. But I grew up with a lot of stage fright, and I was really shy, so singing was my little secret. So I just remember going through a lot of internal turmoil, of, like how can I be, how can I want to be a singer but not want to sing in front of anybody, type thing. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I started a YouTube channel because I would sing and I knew like I'd be able to reach a bunch of people but I never had to actually sing in front of them and I would like make little videos on holidays and send them to my family as gifts because they always wanted me to sing 
for like Christmas or for their birthday, mm -hmm. which is sweet. Um, and then I moved to LA and I was like, I need to get over this stage fright. So I did open mics every week for like a year at the pocket mm -hmm. and Jenna was there. Yeah, and Jenna oh. was there. So that's like how I met Jenna too. And okay, put it in the light. <laughs> Whoa. I started getting over my stage fright and it felt like as I was getting over that and like healing that that shy fearful part of me, mm -hmm. my career started to grow. It's like the universe is like, okay, now that you're doing the inner work will give you the next thing mm. so i started getting booked for little shows here and there and my music just started to stream more online and um yeah that's kind of how i was able to make a career out of my passion but music's ever since i was like four i've been writing music and yeah i'm like jumping around but fire no i love that story that's really crazy because I feel like that's how I had my start at YouTube and mm -hmm. I had the same type of very similar type of thing that you went through where it's like you don't feel like you can do something in this this physical so then you go to the internet, internet yeah. and then that's kind of like your channel or your portal. Yeah. And that was kind of like what I did too, my first videos and stuff. But I my thing was fashion and that's mm -hmm. what I used to kind of showcase my, my talents or the things I was passionate about. Mm -hmm. We are the, the future makers like we are creating this next world we're doing the healing so that our kids can live a more peaceful mm -hmm. life like we're shaping the music industry shaping the fashion industry it's exciting you know what's this thing look it up mm -hmm. what's my sign oh this like it's just so easy back when like our parents were younger they didn't have that they mm -hmm. had to like go to the library <laughs> and crack open a book and like hopefully find what they're looking for yeah. and it's just really nice i think that we have all that stuff that's why i think that things are changing and stuff and i hope Ooh, that they're sure. here because we're no longer bound by like the community that we're born in or the people that we're around we can really tap into any anything we want to now mm -hmm. anywhere we want to any information we want to mm -hmm. yeah or any yeah you feel like you're not relating to this these people in your town you can just go online and mm -hmm. Go find some people that you do relate to yeah. on the internet. I feel like Tribe is definitely that community for a lot of people yeah. that aren't here in LA mm -hmm. and really like resonate with a lot of the stuff that we say. So definitely, that's beautiful too. Mm -hmm. I've had this gel light for so long. I think since I I know I bought it right after I finished nail school. You went to nail school? Mm-hmm. Whoa. Oh, well, that's mm -hmm. a really cute color. Do you like that? It's I just really very like, like neutrally. Mm -hmm looks very natural but it's kind of not mm -hmm. like there's a good feeling to having nails too mm -hmm. like ooh, like you're gonna keep looking down like ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah or you're gonna be doing something you're gonna go pay for something you're gonna look at your thumb like the little butterflies <laughs> like you'll yeah, like it i love when my nails are done though i feel like everything feels more special mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what's your favorite food japanese mm -hmm. udon and noodles and yeah. ramen and all that that's definitely my favorite food mm -hmm. what's yours Mm, same. I love Japanese food and I love bread as like a whole category. I mm. love fruit. Ooh, I love smoothies and acai bowls. Mm -hmm. Oh my so god, that's much. been my favorite food lately. Mm -hmm. I've been eating so many and making so many different ones. It's so creative and then you can add so much to it. Mm -hmm. You can have one every day but it won't be the same mm -hmm. as the day before. Mm -hmm. So it's just like never ending. Never ending. Deliciousness. Mm -hmm. They're so good. I feel like I'm gonna, one day when I have kids, like that's gonna be their breakfast. is mm -hmm. acai bowl. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna, but I'm gonna sneak all the kale and oh, greens yeah. and all their little stuff that they need yeah. into them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be like, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, all the <laughs> Hey Jocelyn, how are you? I'm good. Your hair is so pretty. Every time I see her, I'm like, wow. Like, gold. We have a guest also, Jocelyn. You want to say hi? Sure. <laughs> you can say no to. What's up? But yeah, Jocelyn's awesome. She is. And she's Jocelyn. You like a. You're kind of like a director, writer. Mm -hmm. Just. A creative <laughs> girl. I'm like, what? What? And I'm like, no, you do everything. <laughs> we all do. It's the renaissance. For real. Time to do it all. Like, you also did a short film. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I do. I want to make more. I have a lot of like cool ideas and stuff. And you was talking about how you also want to start doing music. Yeah, I actually grew up around a lot of music and stuff mm -hmm. too. But you know what? I think I have kind of stage fright too of singing. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that kind of deterred me a lot from doing that. If I had some, some songs and stuff that I felt really comfortable singing, mm. I'd definitely be down. But I have like my music equipment, like my little Scarlet and the oh. headphones and the mm. mic, and my little stand. And I'd be making music and stuff. But I need to get a little, I need to get some producers and stuff. You know who I really want to help me do music is Cole. Cole yeah. But Cole be busy. What do you feel is like your next your next thing with music or your next part of your journey? Like what is mm. that looking like? What's the next Umi music that's coming out? Next Umi music that's coming out. I am working on an acoustic project. It's it's like a reimagined version of my last EP that came out and it's inspired by D'Angelo, inspired by Erica Badu. Um, I just want to bring soul music to the youth and to the fan base and introduce people to that sonic. So that's a project I've been working on for the past few months that I'm excited for. And then just continuously been working on this album for the past few years. And I think I'm feeling like I'm getting to the point where I have all the songs for it soon. So that's my next project that's coming out later this year. That. I'm working towards yeah, doing more art, kind of expanding past music as well. But honestly, reflecting this year, I, my intuition is telling me it's going to be a music year. Like that's going to be my focus. Mm -hmm. And last year was like a growth year where I really got to try out a lot of new things and new art forms. I want to be an artist where um, every project has a new feel to it and there's a, there's a constant evolution. and what I'm releasing. If I wanna drop a EDM project, I wanna drop an EDM project. If mm -hmm. I wanna drop a house project, that's that's a vision. I wanna do a house project someday too. That'd be fun. <laughs> but I feel like that's something that I like feel like with my music too is that I feel like that's another thing that comes from our generation is that we don't have to do just one thing. Mm -hmm. Like we're able to kind of expand and do all different types of stuff. But my favorite artist is Frank. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like he's one of those people who's mastered. Oh damn it, I just messed up the thing. <laughs> I felt it. <laughs> kind of anything, but you know it's Frank. And you don't think like, oh, this is not him or this. Mm -hmm. But it's like, ooh, this is fire. Mm -hmm. You can still vibe to it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's something that I want to have through my music too where it's like it's gonna always be me making it or my sound and stuff but it's just gonna have like different feels or different genres mm -hmm. like honestly i don't like genres no i've always been one to just be like mm -mm, mm -mm, fuck a genre. i feel like it's more about what what sonics the message needs to convey itself mm -hmm. like how do I best express this feeling or this moment and sometimes it's an EDM song and sometimes it's like a pop song. So I'm gonna go in I'm gonna you know get real focused and finish these up and then for the stickers we'll come back and wrap it up and then we will show you guys her finished nails. This is my favorite little step cuticle oil this one's in lavender Ooh. and it just really heals all of your little cuticle dryness and just heals them up period Last. <laughs> this is um lemon grass kind of lotion from mm. bliss and so yeah and when i do my massage i try to like do a little bit of like Reiki, like feeling mm -hmm. the muscles and kind of like releasing them. Feel too much. Little, yeah. Feeling little visuals. One time I had a migraine and I was seeing a robot and a lotus flower come from the robot's head. Whoa. And I was just like, oh my God, can I just get some sleep? <laughs> yeah, these hands need a good little massage out. Mm -hmm. Oh, cute! Oh, they're so cute! So I love cute. that. I love that. They're so cute. I never do like pink shades. I'm excited to see like who 
who I I'm gonna be in these nails. Oh my god, you look so good. <laughs> All wrapped up. We're gonna start talking about the moon and the full moon on Umi's channel. So make sure you guys go to her channel and watch that video too. Thank you guys for staying tuned to my nail chit chat. I'll be doing definitely some more guests and do some nails and hang out and talk and learn more about life itself. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. Away from the fears inside Away from the fears I've tried Hide away Cause